Amen. Hallelujah. As we're about to enter into a time of worship, welcome to our third service. You ready to big up Jesus? You ready to call upon the name of Jesus? Want to sound excited more than that, no man? We serve an awesome God, you know, a good God. Let God be special this morning, you know, man. Give him a special praise. Let me hear a shout, hallelujah.
love one more time. Say we place you at the highest place for you. You are the great high priest. We place you high above all else. We place you high above everything as we come to you, as we work. That's your first name, correct? Hallelujah. of your sins that you will serve the Lord as long as there's breath in your lung as a minister of Christ Church I now baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name hallelujah life to the Lord. You may be seated. So there are some persons here who has brought their children to be dedicated unto the Lord. I'm going to ask that you come. But you know, in preparation to do this, which is my first time actually, <laughs> I realize that dedication is not something that we take lightly. So the parents, I'm going to ask you to come with your beautiful children. You dedicating your children today, as you come, I want your ears to be open as I speak. But as you dedicate your children, what you're saying to God is that you need him to raise them. And you're also dedicating them unto him. But you know, it went a step further though. It said that you must speak the word over their lives. You must be the word over their lives. But then I said, God, normally people come to dedicate their babies as a ritual. Some of them are unsaved, some are saved. What about those that are unsaved? And he said, charge them. He said, charge each and every one of them that don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior to know him because he will need the word to grow these little ones. I did this umpteen years ago. My friend, daddy, I did this years ago with my two children. 
and I didn't know then what I know now because if I knew then what I know now it means that one they would have been further along but when I knew Jesus and I started to speak the word over their lives I started to speak that word over their lives I saw transformation in my young adults now we need the word of God to raise these children so I'm going to do exactly what the Lord told me to do. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, will you accept him today? Because you need him to grow these. You are dedicating them unto him. But you need him to grow them. Train them up in the way that they should go. Train them up in the way that they should go. Because what happens if they should slip? It's that same word that you have spoken over their lives that will bring them back unto him. Don't take the dedication of your children lightly. It's a big deal. And I'm not talking about KFC big deal. No, I'm talking about big deal in the kingdom of God. This, this is an act of faith that you're making a move towards. I know that you met with the past Atkinson or Reverend Atkinson, somebody before you did this, and they would have spoken to you. But I had to do what the Lord laid on my heart. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I am not sure if any ministers are here. You could just stand with each one of these as we lift them up before the Lord. Because they came to dedicate their babies. And we're not going to take it lightly. I want to go into their one year. I want to go into their second year. I want to go into their third year. And I want to go into their fourth year, their teenage years. I even want to go into their adulthood. And I want to tell the devil whatever orchestrated plan they have for these. They're even back up now in the name of Jesus Christ by just your act of dedicating them. I want to go into their school, preschools, basic schools. And I want to say, Lord, identify their friends and their per the person that they shall fellowship with. I want to go into their teenagers' 16th year. It will not be a sour 16, but for you, you will smile when you see that teenager serving God. Why? Because you will be training them in the way that they should go. So people of God, just stand and stretch your hands toward these young ones. Because I'm not taking this act lightly. Oh, so the ministers, you should be holding those little ones. Yes, Minister Shireen, Minister Levy, Minister Clayton, you're not going to get another one, man of God. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask... A diaconate or someone else to come and hold this beautiful baby girl right here. Wow. I would just want you to lift them up before the Lord. As we lift them up and as we speak to the heavenlies. And as it is written in the heavens concerning these, God. Let it be the manifestation on earth in their sixth month. My God, I thank you. Lord God, I thank you. At the first year, God, these children will be speaking. They'll be speaking words. They'll be reading Bibles. Because, God, the wisdom of God is upon them even now in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, I thank you that even at the age of two, God, that their discernment will be sharpened. Oh, God, you said in your word that a child shall lead. You did not say an age. But even now, I put two years upon it. And I say at two years, they'll be leading even their very parents into worship. My God. My God. I go into their third year, my God. I go into their fourth year, the fifth year of grace. My God, I thank you that the grace of God will be heavily upon them. Lord God Almighty, I say, devil, you are in trouble because of these. Because this morning we are lifting up them before God and we are dedicating them towards God's service. My God, my God, I thank you. I thank you, God, that they are rooted. My God, they are planted. They're planted, my God. My God Almighty. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that they're ministers of the word. They're ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. My God, I thank you, God, that they're immersed and they're covered under the blood because they're too hot and you're making them too hot for the devil to handle. Yes, God. My God. My God. My God, these are our heritage. And oh God, the devil shall not stop them. They shall not, hind they shall not be hindered. In the name of Jesus, my God Almighty, Lord have mercy, teach the parents how to war. Because of this act of dedication, every life that the enemy will send, we return it in their camp. They shall not die, but they shall live. If sickness is in this, is in, is in 
in their bodies. We pull it down now in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, the age 25, God Almighty. Whoa, the age 25, that plan of the enemy is being destroyed now in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God, my God Almighty. Jesus, 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 Jesus. The plan of the enemy is destroyed over their lives. In the name of Jesus, my God, my God, they'll jump over walls. They'll believe us, my God Almighty, my God Almighty. Whatever their last names are, I replace it with unstoppable. They will not be stopped in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God Almighty, Lord, I thank you. Lord God, I give you glory for them. And I thank you, Lord God, you're giving the parents wisdom. Godly wisdom. Godly wisdom. Godly wisdom. Godly wisdom to grow these. My God, cause them to be solely dependent on you. They will not be dependent on mama, uncle, brother, sisters, but they'll be dependent on you. My God Almighty. My God Almighty. Lord God, I thank you. I give you glory for the lives of your babies. And I thank you that their future is bright. Because in Jeremiah you said, you know the plans that you have towards them. To prosper them. My God. My God. My God. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. And we say, church, say with me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> I know there may be grandparents and godparents, but I also want to charge your godparents. God parents. Step up to the plate if you are one of those. God parents. You must be there when the parents are not to speak that word over them. When the parents are not able to provide, you provide for them. I have a lot of God parents, wouldn't they? My children have got a lot of God parents, where are they? Bounty Killer was one of them. I even call their name now, Sir Killer. Come kill for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have in my hand a certificate for Nikhil. Oh my God. Walters. The last name is my name. <laughs> Let me try to pronounce this one. Don't help me. Nikiria. Nikiria. Nak, nak. All right. Nikiria. Nikiria Ayla Walters. You are dedicated for the service of God. My God. You are almost two, so you shall be ministering to your parents. Hallelujah. 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 Surnames are easier to call. Corlett. Azalea. Oh my. Azalea Deidre. Corlett. I call you man of God. And as you take this certificate, I fill your mouth with words to speak over that baby girl. To speak life into her. Where you're weak, the Lord will equip you to speak that life into her. Amen. Amen. You're most welcome. Hallelujah. This one is easier. Terence. Ethan Zayden Wilson. Wow. Woman of God, receive grace. Because the boys, yeah, the males, the devil seem to, seem to fight them, but he shall not fight Terence in Jesus' name. Campbell, Desian, Deshaun, pronounce the middle one, <laughs> Zahiri, Campbell, Zaire, you see it's spelled different ways because I know Zahir and it's not, this is not how it is spelled, but it's different, different, but man of God, I call him man of God, because as, you hand, as I hand this to you, the Lord is shifting your life into his purpose, amen, amen. hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. And remember the charge. If you don't know Jesus, don't leave without knowing him, without accepting him. As a matter of fact, you know him over time, but don't leave without accepting him. Sir Campbell, what a deal? Carlet, what a deal? Yes, what a deal. All right. So you will not leave without knowing Jesus today. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. The worship team said, I'm proud of me. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. It is really important to see God for everything that you do in the kingdom. You, it is really important that you don't, you don't just show up. You don't, they don't just show up with your tithe or your, even your offering. You don't, you don't just show up to us. You don't just show up to moderate. You really seek God for everything that you do as it relates to his kingdom. Because believe it or not, what I did here, I, it, the Lord told me exactly what to do. And I believe that lives, those babies, those parents, there's, their life was shifted. So I stand here to do another thing, and it's for collect your monies. And as I said, don't show up to give. Don't show up to do anything without actually seeking God before you do it. Even if it's your tithe, we are obligated to give our tithe because he says that one-tenth belongs to him. It's really not yours, but still, you must pray and seek God over your tithe because it says in its word that he will open the windows of heaven. Sometimes, what I found out years ago, I found out this years ago, that because we don't necessarily give with a level of revelation, the doors, you're tithing and you're giving, but there's nothing that is happening. So the windows are not being opened, the doors are not opening because you're not giving with a revelation. I found out that years ago, and the moment I found that out, my tithe is prepared from my home. I see God and I pray and I tell him, tell him what, what door, what devour I need to be rebuked some, because my discernment became sharper. It kept on being sharpened. So I actually would have been getting a revelation as to what the rebuke, what rebuking should happen. So even now, I might, I, I often say that it's not necessarily about the financial blessing. That's not important to me because I know that I'm a kingdom financer either way. But when I see the blessings of God upon my children, upon my family, upon my life, I can't stop giving. I can't stop worshiping God with my substance. Because after all, it is he that gave me that ability. So I encourage us this morning, whenever we are giving, give with a level of revelation. Talk to the Lord. Speak over your, speak over your seed. Speak over whatever you're giving. If it's a hundred dollar, it doesn't matter. Look at the widow's might. It did crazy. It did great things. It did great, great things on our behalf. Do not take giving lightly. Just as I charge the parents just now, it's the same thing with our giving. We must give with a level of revelation, understanding what the word of God says concerning our giving. In Malachi 3, 10, it actually says that, prove me now. Which God is going to tell us to prove him? He says, prove him. Is there anybody in the house that wants to prove God? Amen. Prove me now this day. If I will not open, open the windows. It's not one window. There might be luck in your life that's a window that he's opening to break that luck. Your children might be wayward. That is a window that he's going to open to bring them back. My friend, you're in the wheelchair I've not seen in a while. Glad to see you. I believe he was walking here when he came the first time. But he has not yet stepped into it. I believe in God that that window will be open to you. Whatever the window is that you want God to open in your lives, just say it over your seat this morning. Say, Lord, I want this window to be opened. My God. Before I even do that, I should be welcoming. Do you, uh, uh, you see when you do so many things before, it's kind of hard. 
But I really just want to acknowledge Apostle Cody McLean and Reverend Nadine McLean. <laughs> the executive leaders of this great house, I just want to bless God for them. The ministers, the diaconists, the leaders, the members, the partners, the friends, all of you online. If it wasn't for you, online church would not be this great. But it's because of you being online. Online is such an experience from time to time. You may be seated. Now I just want to, I just got the tithing out of the way, which is 10%. Now your offering is anything that the Lord laid on your heart. Remember I said that you have to really see God. Some of us, because we're stingy, you know, we don't see God enough, so we'll come and drop like a hundred dollars. But if you really see God, the Lord will stretch us. And Apostle is asking for $500 and 1000 US dollars to push Canada. And I just want to do that right here. Canada launch will be in, I don't have my phone, but it's the first week of April that the launch will happen. So if you're able to do that 500, Jamaica, 500 US dollars or 1000 US dollars, please do that and just jot on it, Canada. Amen? That is what the Lord is laying on your heart. I know. There's somebody here. There was 30 in the first service and there's more in, in this third service. If you made a pledge, I beg you, if you made a pledge during anniversary last year, whenever you made that pledge, honor it. The word of God says, it's better not to pledge than pledge I don't honor. If you made a pledge, please honor that today, amen? If you need an envelope, the beautiful usher stand in their blue. I tend to do this every week. I'm always in the same colors with you guys. They're there to serve you. If you need an envelope, just stick your hands up and they will serve you accordingly. If you're using a card, just go to the back. I see Deacon Umfroy down there to serve you as well. And if you're streaming online, you're not going to get away this morning. We WAFIF is global, so we cannot only deal with persons that are in the center of set up things online for those folks as well. So if you're streaming online, the informations are there for you. Just go ahead and give. Go ahead and give your tithe, your offering. And if you're in Canada, we ask that you send an email to wafifgiving at gmail.com with the necessary information so that we'll be able to record that for you. Amen? Those that love the quick and fast transfer, if you're overseas, we have Zell, and that is also wafifgiving at gmail.com. We ask that you go ahead and Zell away. Amen? Amen. 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 I don't want for you to stand, but I want for you to lift your seat. I just want to make one declaration over your life. And then the ushers will go ahead and serve you. And that declaration is the windows. My God. The windows of heaven concerning what you spoke be open unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the window of promotion yes yes Lord there's somebody blind online you are receiving sight because that window is opened even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as you give yes Lord we thank you we thank you my father that windows of opportunities are being opened unto your people in the name of Jesus. There's someone seeking a business partner. That destiny helper is opened unto you even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have already written that business plan. You have already started to put things together, but you need a partner. The godly partner is coming to you. That window is opened even now in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, we thank you this morning. We thank you, mighty God, that the people are blessed beyond their measures because windows of opportunities, windows, windows, windows are being opened unto them in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, the wind of laughter, my God, there's someone that is sorrowful, but that wind of joy, unspeakable joy, that passes all understanding is being opened unto you even now so you'll be able to see clearly my God, my God, my God in heaven, you're going to smile again. My God in heaven, because the doors and the windows are being opened, pouring down joy upon you. You will rest well tonight because the peace of God is upon you even now. That window is opened. My God, it's not money for some persons, but it's peace. 
receive peace this morning. Peace that you'll be able to make wise decisions. You will not make an error within this first quarter of 2024. No errors because the wisdom of God is upon you even now as it relates to decision making. We thank you, my Father. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. Tell him you give him glory for the window that has been opened over your life. We give you glory, God. We give you glory. We give you glory, God. We give you glory. We give you glory, God. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Sunday to you and welcome to Worship and Faith International Fellowship Warfare. We are honored to have you join us today. A very special welcome to our first-time worshipers on behalf of our senior pastors, Apostle Courtney McLean and Reverend Nadine McLean. Thank you so much for coming today. Please give some attention to our announcements for this week. Warfare Family Ministry present Couples Empowerment today at 7 p.m. This is an online only event and it is hosted by our Apostle Courtney McLean and our First Lady Reverend Edith McLean. And you can get your calendar set for the third Sunday of every month going forward. Good Friday will be mega at Wafif 55A Old Harbor Road. Bring the faith, bring the oppressor, bring the deaf and the mute, and watch God's glory unfold with Apostle Courtney McLean. March 29th at 8 a.m. Good Fridays will be mega, a day of the supernatural. Surrender, surrender. Wafi Florenda presents a night of the supernatural on Sunday, March 24, 2024 at 6 p.m. at the Central High School, 237 Road, Maitland, Florida. Come on, see and hear the guest speaker, our founder, Pastor Cody McKean, as he joins hands with host Pastor George Smart, Minister Tamika Smart, and Reverend Ken Roy Waldo, and pour out on the people of God to impact Florenda for the cause of Christ. Invite all your friends and neighbors to this massive evangelistic outreach and be prepared to be delivered and transformed by the power of God. The Evangelism Department, in collaboration with the Children's Ministry, presents Family Day, Fun, Food, Fellowship and Games. This is on Saturday, the 30th of March, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And the moment we have all been waiting for is finally here. What is that? It's Wolf is Canada. We officially opened, we launched on April 5th to 7th, 2024. We fly into Canada. You don't want to miss out, you know. Join us, man, as we impact globally in building the kingdom of God. We are building with Christ. And we invite you to join us. Please join us this Tuesday for Bible study online only at 7.30 p.m. And Power Wednesday is 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The opening hours for Wafif Office is Tuesdays to Fridays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please bear that in mind. Wafif is seeking persons to partner with us in building the kingdom of God through the programs we offer. Programs such as House of Hope, Wafif Group of Schools, the Scholarship Fund, and Wafif Christian College, among others. There are beneficiaries who can speak to the advantages of these programs. Here's how you can partner with us. Go to wafif.org, select the tab Partners, 
Click sign me up, then choose the area that you wish to partner with us in and become a member of our partners community today. We invite you to visit our bookstore located at the back of this sanctuary for an inspiring book, an item of your choice. To honor your first time visit to Wafif, our stewardship month continues. Yes, it's the month of March. Take a look at our video. Our mission, to raise up stewards through the creation of a culture of generous giving of our time, talent, and treasure. Who is a steward? A caretaker of God's kingdom as mentioned in 1 Peter 4 verse 10 to 11. Our principles of stewardship. Number one, everything belongs to God. God owns it all, all that we have and all that we will ever have. Principle number two, we are managers of what belongs to God, as mentioned in Psalm 24, verse one. Principle number three, God promises to meet our needs. He has a plan for our finances. Philippians 4, verse 19. Principle number four, we show our trust in God by giving, as mentioned in Luke 6, verse 38. Principle number five, money is a test of our loyalty. Matthew 6, verse 24. Principle number six, we have a responsibility to take care of our family, as mentioned in 1 Timothy 5, verse 8. How will we win? by providing, developing, reinforcing, and creating stewardship goals that will create global impact. How can I be a faithful steward? Love and live in harmony, focus on God and not on the things of this world. Think about how you spend your time. Find something you can do to give back to Wahid. Ask yourself the question, how can I feed God's sheep? I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. Psalm 91, verse 1. Let's celebrate our newly baptized members. This week we have Judith Smith, Joanna Walker, and Cheryl Moore. Welcome to Wafib. Christopher Butler, Michelle Murray, Jory Ricketts, Grace Ann Mela, Alicia Allen Powell, Carrie Ann Lamard, Tamara Davis, Maureen Dix, and Vanessa Fagan, I declare long life and prosperity over you as you celebrate your birthday. And for anniversaries this week, we have Andrew Davey, Annette Davey, Sir Eric Atkinson, and Reverend Elise Atkinson. And we also have Jermaine Smith and Roxanne Robinson Smith. Enjoy your anniversary, all of you, and may God's favor continue to be over your marriage as you enjoy many more blissful years together with Jesus. Before you go, please be sure to visit our social media platforms to keep abreast of all our happenings, to request prayer, start your membership journey, or just to send us your feedback. We look forward to hearing from you. That brings us to the end of announcements for this week. On behalf of Apostle Courtney McLean, Reverend Nadine McLean, and the dedicated members of the Media, Marketing, and Communications Department, I am Lorraine Nelson, signing out with the scripture this week, Jeremiah 33, 3. Call unto me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. That's the promise of God. Stay connected, take care, and walk good. Bless the Lord. Great morning, everyone. I just want to give honor to our apostle, Dr. Apostle Courtney McLean, our First Lady, First Lady, Reverend Nadine McLean. Yes. Our executive leadership team, our ministers, our diaconates, all our leaders, our members, all of our visitors here tonight, everyone that is in the house and online, a great more well, great, great, great morning to all of you and welcome to each and every one of you. My name is Minister Shereen Hemmings. And this morning, I want to share with you some very exciting news. Now, there's something that is happening on March 30th. That's on a Saturday. Does anybody inside here know what's happening on March 30th? All right, 
right, I heard it over there. That's right, it's our family fun day. Now I'm here to give you several reasons why it's important for you to turn up to our fun day, okay? Because it's not just any regular fun day. Anybody here knows that when Wafif does something, it's done in excellence, right? Yeah. And if anybody knows how to have a good time, it's Wafif, right? Yeah. All right, so guess what? We have an amazing day planned for you on March 30th. And this initiative, it's a fundraising activity that is being put on by both the evangelism department and the children's ministry. How many of us here knows that it takes money to run a ministry? Exactly. It also takes money to win souls, you know, to get souls. Yes, it's not cheap. We make it look easy, but it requires money. Yes? So what we're doing, we're inviting you all out for a fun day for the family. A lot of us, look here, plenty of you inside here guilty, you know. You're not spending enough time with your family, you know. So here we are, we are offering you an opportunity to come out on Saturday, March 30th, to join us as we celebrate the family. Of course, it will be a time of fun, food, and fabulous fellowship. Amen? Amen. So what are some of the things you can come and expect? First of all, there would be a kiddies village. So it's important for you to carry your kids. Pack up your neighbor's children, your children, your friend's children, everybody's children that you can carry, and take them out to come and enjoy the fun day. Guess what? We'll be having a kiddies village on that day. And you know what that entails? We have rides, we have bouncer boats, we have face painting, we have all kinds of fun activities for the children on that day. We have tickets for the children as well that you can also get outside or by the children's ministry. It's only a thousand dollars for the children's ticket. And you know what that entitles you to? It entitles them to food and one ride. So bring the rest of your money so they can spend and get other rides. Amen? <laughs> Just saying, right? The adult tickets. $1,500, and that entitles you to some delicious food, right? In terms of other activities, it's not just a day for the children. It's a fantastic day for the adults as well. Don't worry yourself about having to go to the market on Saturday. Come and do your market shopping here because you know we have a market day, right? So all the things that you need for your home in terms of ground provisions, etc., just come to our market on that particular day. We also will be having a lot of boots on that particular day. So if you want a little extra niceness, you know, we have a lot of entrepreneurs here at Wafif that have a lot of fabulous wares that you can purchase. So I don't know, clothes, shoes, etc., etc., cushions, whatever it is that you want, just come out on the day. Storybooks, we're going to have a children's corner where you can get storybooks from our fabulous Wafif authors and also so the children will benefit from hearing story time. Amen? You convinced it? I hope so. Amen. So we expect to see you on that day. It's only $1,500 for the adult ticket and $1,000 for the children's ticket. Please, before you leave, you understand? Just go on the outside. We have a table on the outside where you can just purchase your tickets from. No, you know, I'm just saying. Not that we're going to run out of tickets. You know, you can get come and get on the day, but there's some, there's a particular reason why we want you to get the tickets from early, because there may just be something exciting for you. All right, let me tell, let the cat out of the bag. What it really is, you see? If you purchase the ticket early, you get to enter to win a fantastic prize, and I don't want to let that cat out of the bag what the prize is. So, all I'm saying, you wouldn't want to miss out. Give yourself an opportunity to be blessed, amen? So we look forward to seeing you at our family fun day when? And that's 2024 this year, not next year, yeah? <laughs> Bless the Lord. Have a great day. I could pick up Jesus now. Come on, come on. Just stand to your feet for a moment, just for a moment. I said, pick up Jesus. A food daddy big song. A food daddy big song. A your daddy or a my daddy. A few daddy. He is worthy to be praised. He's God. He's amazing. He's loving. He's our father. And every time you see me here, so what time it is, man? Not Come on, testimony time. We have a man of God that the Lord is doing something in his life. And he's going to tell you what it is. Now it's your time to sit down and relax. 
Don't relax too much. Because by the time he's finished, you're gonna just jump up and erupt and go on. So, because God is good. Sir Shekrem, tell the people of God what happened. Now he was telling me, because you know, have to find out the people in business before them come up here, not true. I get to celebrate long before now. I celebrate in whole heap of time. Now he said he had what we call a milestone in his life. There was a passing of his sister, and he made a vow when he came to this church for the burial of his sister. And the vow that he made, he's living the opposite of the vow. Tell us the vow that you made. What happened? So on the day of the funeral, I said that I wasn't coming back to this location. And a day before 12 years, I entered the dwarf ga gates again. That was April 2nd, 2023. Following, I was supposed to be a member to the 31st of December and Instead of the 31st of December, it's the, the 10th, which was last week, Sunday, and that was the day she died. And the team of the funeral was red and black, and also my team for membership was red and black. And transformative grace. So. He's giving God thanks for the transformative grace. So when you were talking to me, I was saying, man of God, no, your sister died, but you made a pledge that you're not coming back but God bring you back and God allowed you to receive membership on the day the same day that she died wearing the same color do you understand that there's a rebirth that took place in him when this my God when his sister died he made that declaration but God had a different plan look at transformation look at life look at life this is the power of God let us celebrate Jesus here man
your hands and just worship the Lord. I exalt you, Lord. Just exalt him. Come on, with your own words, release a spontaneous worship unto him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Just greet the persons around you before you take your seats. Thank you so much, worship team. Ah, God bless you. <laughs> bless you so much. Bless you. Hallelujah. God is amazing. What is that song? Shake it again. Who is that? Oh, I like there's no rattlesnake in here. That's a shaker. Amen. 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 Ah, lift your hands and just. just gave me a word for somebody it could be more than one person you could be on the line you could be in the building and it's Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 not sure if the media team can get it up really quickly Ecclesiastes 9 11 and 12 wow good one two three read stop one, two, three, read. Yeah, we can't stop right now. So. That's a word for somebody. Time and chance happen to everybody. Hallelujah. Your time will come. Amen. And for some of you, your time has come. Hallelujah. I'm not sure who. Uh, I was right here. And he said, 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 he That's a word for somebody. I'm not sure who, but I know somebody. If that's your word, give God praise.
race not for the swift, battle not for the strong. But time and chance happens to us all. Your time will come. And for somebody, your time has. If I were you, I'd praise God right now. Now, 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 time and chance. Happen it. Everybody have a time where I come. Me say your chance. You're going to get your chance. Yeah. Now, here, 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 your time will not come without you being ready. Yeah. Because if your time come and you're not ready, because there are some people who say life no fear, your time come and pass you. Everybody gets opportunity. They will get opportunities in life. Some people, it passed them. They weren't ready. You will be ready. Oh, oh. You will be ready. It will not come and find you getting ready. You will be ready. Because if you're getting ready, when it's show, you're late. You must be ready. And when opportunity ah, yeah, 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 meets preparation, you get manifestation. Now that's a word for somebody online, somebody in the building. I don't know. Maybe it's for nobody. Maybe it's my word. All right. So this is part seven. No? Yes. Part seven. In the series becoming a person of excellence amen becoming a person of what excellence, excellence. come on say it loud and clear of excellence. amen and our text is daniel 6 3 to 6 then this daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes say preferred uh-huh because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the entire realm and the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against daniel concerning the kingdom but they could find none occasion nor fault for as much as he was faithful neither was there any error or fault found in him then said these men we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king and said, Thus unto him, King Darius, live forever. Father, this is your word. It is anointed. Bless it and change your lives. Amen. 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 So we've been dealing with becoming a person of what? Excellence. I want you to say it loud and clear. Becoming a person of excellence. Amen. Amen. And we said that number one, excellence distinguishes you. To be excellent is to be outstanding. It distinguishes you. It causes you to stand out. Some people are afraid of that because they don't want persons to, they don't, they don't want the attention. Because attention comes with just so many different things. The second thing that we said about excellence is that excellence, come on, write it down. Excellence attracts favor. It attracts favor. He was preferred above the presidents and princes. So he got preferential treatment because he was preferred. How many would like to be preferred? Amen. How many you don't want to be preferred? You just want to tarnish by your day and nobody knows see you. Because the truth is that if you are preferred, then it comes with other things. Mm. 
But Daniel was preferred. Amen. It attracts favor. Excellence attracts elevation. The king thought of setting him over the entire realm. Say over the entire realm. So what that excellence will cause you to be elevated. It doesn't matter where you are right now. If you are excellent, if you're excellent, elevation is coming. Who God bless, no man curse. Who God lifts up, no man puts down. If God be for you, nobody can stop you. Yeah, that's right. You got it. So when you are excellent, you will be elevated. The king thought of setting him over the entire realm. Excellence causes that. There are some people who don't want that though. They don't want to be over nothing. You know that, right? There are some people, they have no ambition. I don't mean that in a, in the, in, in a, in a degrading way, but they don't have the desire to strive to be their best. That's not good. That's not good. Excellence will also put you in a position of authority and influence. Write it down. The king thought of setting him over the entire realm. Authority and influence. God wants for you to be in a position of authority and influence. And then finally we said that excellence attracts what? Favor. Uh, no, haters. It attracts haters. So as God lifts you up, uh, there are people that's just going, not going to like you. Now, I, I remember saying, I remember saying that one of the reasons, among the reasons, there are several, but one of them is that the reason people hate you is that you show them up. You make them look bad when you commit to excellence and people don't like that. And so people who gossip and tear down those who are doing well. The reason they do that, it's because it makes them feel better. If I can make you look average, or you are like you are not all that, and I am struggling, then I feel good. So there are people who enjoy reading magazines about those who are up in life, and they enjoy reading about their mess. If you are somebody that, enjoy, if you enjoy that, it's a revelation that something is wrong on the inside. You need to be reset. Right, write that down, text, send me a message. I'm supposed to start a series entitled Reset. Reset. Uh, send me a message. Now, yeah, so, so that kind of a mindset where as, as, as people climbing, it must be something wrong. They must be doing something wrong. You know anybody like that? As people start do well, they, they start look, what, what kind of them are caught? Where? They must. Mm. Mm. Because it makes them look better, feel better. Excellence attracts haters. There are people who will be gathered because you're a person of excellence. They'll be gathered and you will be the subject of the gathering. You will be the agenda. You better believe it right now. I am someone's agenda. You'd be a fool not to know that you're someone's agenda. Someone have you on the agenda of their meeting. You would be naive not to know that. And this is why you must pray. You pray over your food. Because you don't know who of you and their agenda and them in the kitchen. How many ever watch Church Money? It's a whole African show. Church Money. Kuya, kuya, kuya. When I read no Bible, I watch Church Money. I, 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 I watch it. I watch Church Money. That's the show. I plan for what we are the pastor. He puts something in my food and he passed that katala brota. And he just come out of my food and going after them food. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how we get it from. When I see me, I bless my food. I'm going to go, Ruta Kapa. Fire. 
Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. But seriously, pray over your food with faith. You will eat any deadly thing and it will not hurt you. Not a, if you don't pray, pray over your food. It's sanctified by the word and prayer. All right. What is excellence? Uh, excellence, number one, is doing the best you can with the resources you have. The ground no level, all of us, we didn't start at the same place. So, what is excellent for you now could be mediocrity for me because I didn't have the challenges that you had. So you could be doing best, the, your best right here. Why? Based on the resources. We don't have the same resources. So we're not, you're not, we're not competing and comparing. You are actually competing with you. Not with me. So, the next definition is that excellence is to better your best. So you are constantly improving upon yourself. You're not looking in somebody else's lane. Because excellence, if you're going to flow in excellence, you have to kill comparison. When you compare yourself with people, you always come up in one of two ways. You remember what I said? No? No? One of two ways. Excellence, if you compare yourself with people, what's going to happen? Number one, you come out better than them and you feel prideful. Or number two, you come out less than them and you feel inferior. So compare, no, we don't compare ourselves with people. We compare ourselves with ourselves. You compare yourself with your call, with, your, with, with you. Am I getting better? Am I improving? That's what you compare. Is this helping anybody? Yes. Hallelujah. Say you're sitting next to a person of excellence. Can't you see I have bettered my best? Am I not getting better? Ah, he's saying true. I saying true. Yeah, yes, yeah. Every day. You're getting better every day. Say amen. 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 So... So, the next definition is, so, number one, excellence is doing the best you can with the resources you have. Number two, excellence is bettering your best. Number three, excellence is constant improvement. Constant what? Improvement. improvement. So, you're constantly improving. And then number four, excellence is the quality of being outstanding or extremely good. So, all of these... Uh, things that I'm saying, you have to look at how you can apply that to your personal life, how you can apply it to your study, how you can apply it to your work, how you can apply it to your marriage, how you can apply it to your business, how you can apply it to your whatever it is. You're always looking at how you can apply it. Amen? All right, so... Write this down. I didn't... I've not, not given this yet. Or maybe, maybe I have. I don't know. Excellence is in the how. Not just the what. <laughs> you, you can do something common and make it uncommon. Because of the how. I feel like you should pay me for this teaching. Huh? Excellence is in the how. Not just the what. Say amen. amen. How you do things. Just a little tweak with what you currently have and you can have excellence. Just tweaking something. My guys gave me breakfast. I don't normally eat breakfast on Sundays. But I'm working on something my wife wants me to put on a little bit more weight. <laughs> I belong to her. She said, hey, hey, all of that weight losing thing. And she gave me scripture. <laughs> she gave me scripture. You don't belong to yourself. The Bible says those who are married, they belong to each other. Yeah. I said, Kaya. Yeah. So I had breakfast. 
when they serve it, it looked really, really good. I said, what is that? It was egg. Common, everyday egg. But it never looked like egg. Huh? No, my belly has the photo. <laughs> I should have. That was, uh, that would have I, I'm not one of those persons who take picture of food. Unless I'm traveling and I'm alone and I'm sending it to first lady and saying you should have been here. Like when I was in Argentina and I did that. You should, you should be here with me. No, no, it, it looked common egg. But it was on something like roti. Egg white, no yolk. And then it had a little tuna. And then it had some reddish. I saw it named reddish? Radish? I don't normally eat that there. So I can't even call it. And it just, I mean, I said this, I said there. You ever see some food and you not even want to touch it because. Yeah. Guy, them, them go on around up back there. So watch this. I see an egg. <laughs> an egg, brother. An egg. But the whole. Excellence is taking a common thing and making it uncommon. Is this helping you? Are you taking notes? Do you know that some people only pay school fee, they don't pay attention? <laughs> make, make, make sure you pay attention, you know. You pay fear for coming here, but pay attention now. Amen. Amen. So excellence is in the how. Not just the what. Excellence is taking a common thing and making it uncommon. Some people will see that and say, where are this for? Where is put this in pan this sitting and just give me? Let me eat it. <laughs> eh? Cha. I want place that go. <laughs> <laughs> you know anybody like that? No. no, 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 no. <laughs> but you understand? Yes. So as you become a... As you see, as you commit to excellence, you are constantly looking at the how. So excellence is in the how more than the what. You ready now? How can I make it better? Whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, you always you ask the question, how can I what? Can I make it better? Whatever your work is, how can I make it better? Write it down. How can I make it better? You're in construction. You're fixing houses. How can I do it better? You are a nurse. How can I improve upon my service and make it better? You're in praise and worship. How? You see, excellence is in the constant improvement of oneself. The constant improvement upon one's delivery. How can I make it better? I need to make it better. Mm. You're in the food business. How can I present better? Huh? You are in the, give me some, you, come on, help me out. Speaking, coaching. <laughs> You're a coach. How can I make it better? Come on, another profession, another. You're, you're an ear stylist. I know some of them call it, no, you're a, you're a cos, cosmeto, cosmetologist. An ear technician, you're an ear mechanic. How can I? Because honestly, some people only know if you put cream in a people head and they actually destroy and burn because you have not get, been getting better. Some people, you don't understand 
that if you if you if you what is it braid braid yes. if you're braiding you can't stress the ear root yes. and some people it neat but the stress yes. that they put your hair under after a while you lose your hair they need to get yeah and you see your wife the pan you say what do you woman Uh, oh, can I make it what? Better. Uh, some barbers you got here, when they finish trimming you, they get a warm towel and they wipe out all of the hair that's there. They got another towel and then wipe your face if any ear. Or they wipe your face first and then they fold it and they have this little thing that keeps the towel warm. And then, oh, can I, oh, oh, can I make, trim, trim, come on. But how can I make the common uncommon? How can I give you an uncommon experience in a common environment? I've been to barber shops where I'm telling you no loud talking. It's just not, they don't create that environment. It's not that they can't have conversation, but they don't, they don't support that. Because of who they are seeking to cater to. You see, the lower you are, the more people talk. And the Bible says, in the multitude of words, there is sin. When we talk too much, we are always sinning. Sometimes we talk until we just talk people business. How can I make it better? Are you ready for this one? If, I, if I've discovered a way to make it better, can I discover a way to get it done faster? Is it possible to maintain quality And increase the quantity. This is generally about systems, by the way. So can I get it done faster? Are you getting anything from this? Am I able to duplicate it? Can I duplicate this? So if it is done better, if it is done faster, and if there's a demand for it, am, am I able to duplicate it? Sometimes in order to duplicate it, you have to duplicate yourself. So you have to pour yourself into others, but you can't pour yourself into everybody. It's not everybody you teach everything. Silence. I love it. I love it. I love it. You don't tell everybody everything. You pour into the loyal. And you limit what you give to the disloyal. You pour into those who are going to... They are, they are in it for the long haul. You pour more into those. How do you identify them? You, you train them. And you will know who you have. I'm going to say something controversial. Are you ready? Yes. It is said that you should hire what? Hire slow. And fire fast. Ooh. Hmm. Hire, take your time when you try to employ somebody and make sure you get the right person. When you see bad attitude, one, two, three, out. Bad attitude spread. 
and will contaminate your organization. Higher character above even competence. Higher based on attitude because you can't train attitude. I can help to sharpen you with your skill, but if your attitude is nasty, I can't help you. That's all up to you. I feel like I feel like this is good. I feel like, I feel like this is good. So I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't give anybody this, but I wanted to give you. I want to give you. Tell your neighbor I'm, I'm special. All right, so the test of excellence. We said that Joseph demonstrated excellence in his father's house. Excellence will be tested. He, was, he demonstrated excellence and his father gave him a coat. His brothers hated him because of that. What did they do as a result of hatred? No, before, before they, they took the coat. They took the coat. And they were, they, they were planning to kill him. And then Judah said, no, let's not shed our brother's blood. Let's put him in this pit. Excellence will cause people to dig pit for you. Prepare. Then they sold him into slavery. Excellence will make people sell you out. But when he was a slave, what did he do? In, among his brothers, he was on top. He was the youngest one, but he was on top. He was in charge. He's the one that's going to check on them and bring back report to the father. Father didn't trust the brothers, but the father trusted him. He had an excellent character. So while he was now, while he was now uh, 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 in slavery, what did he say? He said, me not give them my best done yourself because me a slave. Is that what he said? No. no. Even though he was a slave, he gave his best. That's a mistake many of you make. You are working for some people. You don't believe they're giving you enough money so you shall change them. You don't give your best. You said, you see, when I get a good job, I'm going to give my best. You will not get no good job. You give your best wherever you are. He was a slave, but he was giving his best. Somebody say amen. Amen. What did that do for him? As a slave, he got promoted as a slave. When you commit to excellence, wherever you are, you will rise to the top. Take the grace to rise in Jesus' name. I said, take the grace to rise in Jesus' name. I said, you will rise to the top. Sometimes people will put you around the corner because they, they, they don't like you. And even around the corner, you start to get blessed. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they will give you the hardest thing to do. Why? Simply because they don't like you. But even though they give you the hardest thing to do, there is something about you that causes you to rise to the top. And so while he was, he was a slave, he did well and they put him in charge of Potiphar's house. He was second only to Potiphar in Potiphar's house. As a slave, the man will get elevated because that's what excellence does. It causes you to get elevated. Somebody tell your neighbor, I'm committing to excellence. Come on, tell the other neighbor, I'm committing. Tell them with conviction. I'm committing to excellence. 
Come on, you can't talk like you have arthritis in your jaw. T tell them, I'm committed to excellence. So, 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 so they put him in charge. And then, excellence attract warfare again. The boss wife saw him and wanted him to sleep with her. Can you imagine? Excellence will attract that kind of a thing. Uh, people will always be drawn to you for you to compromise. And you have to maintain your integrity because once you do that, you mess up your character of excellence. And a good name, better than pocket money. It's easy for your name and your character. Listen, you can take years to build your character and mash it up in one moment. I declare that that will not be you. I said, I declare that that will not be you. Oh, you're not hearing me. I said, I declare that that will not be you. Somebody trying to set you up because you're a person of excellence to mess up your character. I declare that your eyes are open to every plan of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Potiphar's wife um, lied on him and he was now in prison. Go to the next service. We don't have time to go down in this part. He was now in prison, but even in prison, they put him in charge of the prisoners. Why? They saw something. Number one, the, he was trustworthy. It just wasn't, J Joseph had the gift of administration. He had the gift of organizing and structuring, but, but, but if he had all of that, but he wasn't a trustworthy person, you think they would have put him in charge? There was something about him that said we can trust this guy. They, they would have tested, they would have seen his honesty. Some of you are not honest. And you need to change. That's not excellent. Some of you are excelling in being dishonest. <laughs> you are excelling in lying. You are good. Better in your best. As a liar. <laughs> Am I talking the truth? <laughs> so they put Joseph in prison and now he's in charge of the prison because he's what? Excellent. And then he worked his prophecy and he did and uh, bottom line is that he came out of prison and he was now Pharaoh's right hand because he's a person of excellence. Now he's in charge of an entire nation. Excellence. That's your portion. Excellence. That's what I'm releasing for 2024. Excellence is your portion. The spirit of excellence. The spirit of excellence. I said the spirit of excellence is upon you. I don't like your amen at all. I said the spirit of excellence is up on you. I said the spirit of excellence is up on you. Amen. Now I'll close with this. I'll close with this. I'll close with this. Become a person of excellence by studying Israel. In Deuteronomy 28, verse 13, a declaration was spoken over the children of Israel. The Lord said, if you do certain things, there's a, a certain kind of blessing that will rest upon you and your house. Say amen. Amen. And there are some Christians, they have no ambition. And you see what I'm talking about now and what I'm teaching now, as far as they are concerned, this doesn't make no sense. This is not important because people are dead and I go hell. Well, people getting saved in every service. I don't have to preach hell and fire and brimstone for people to get saved. God 
said, put it back for me, guys. That if you, and the Lord shall make thee the head. No, 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 no. God shall make you the tail. Wag your tail. God shall make you the tail. Huh? God shall make you the head. So if God say, I am, I, I, I'm making you the head, then how are you comfortable being tail? How are you comfortable being at the bottom? How, how are you comfortable with everybody rising and you stagnant? God says, you sh I, I sh the Lord shall make you the head. Not the tail. The tail is at the bottom. Where the poo takes place. The Lord said, I'm not going to put you in that position. That's not my plan for you. Maybe that's where you were. The tail is where you sit up. It is the stump. It is the bottom. It is the rectum. The, the, the tail is where people sit. You sit down by your tailbone. And some of you people sitting on you because of your position. Excellence will cause you to rise from that place in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you say, they, they, they keep looking down on me because you are down. You don't want them to look down on you. Well, get up and become the head. Oh God, I feel, I feel something. Say. It is an error for men to pity you when angels envy you. Angels envy you. And I wonder what is it about you? Make God a mad over you. Why God set his love upon you? Angels jealous over you. Then how comes men pity you? I feel the Holy Ghost, you see, man. You shall be the head. The Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. And thou shalt not be beneath. If you follow the word of God, which I command you today, and you observe them, there's a shift in your immediate future. I don't care if you're the tail now. I break every tail spirit from off of you. I don't care if you're at the bottom now. 2024 will not end with you being at the bottom. Can I prophesy? Can I declare over somebody? You are rising. You are climbing. I said you are rising. Every stagnant spirit is coming from off you. God is lifting you up. And no man will be able to take you down. You better help me bless God. I said you better open your mouth and help me praise God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And thou shalt be above only, 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 only in a prison you're above, in a Potiphar's house you're above, wherever you are, I put you might start at the bottom, but despise not the days of small beginnings, you will watch me climb. You will watch me rise. Somebody shout in here. You 
You don't have to chat nobody. You don't have to bring nobody name to boss to get promotion. It's your work. Stop your talking and keep the working. Stop your talking and keep the working. Let your work do the talking. Somebody asks, what you do to be an apostle? I don't answer you, my work talk. My, my resume is in what I have done. My resume, just look, 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 look. Look, I, I, I don't have time to talk. My work will do the talking. Is this helping anybody? There are some people that want to draw you in an all kind of mix up. Let your work talk. Jesus said, if you don't believe what me say, believe the works. Believe what I do. Because action speaks louder than... I don't know where you come from and the people that you are associated with. I know not everybody has ambition to be the head, but if God said concerning Israel, you shall be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, then I desire to be the head, then I desire to be above every spirit of worklessness, crawfishness that makes you complacent. Table, being average, being mediocre, lay your hand on your neighbor's shoulder and say, broken, broken, lay your hand on your head and shout, broken, broken. Hey, hey. down a little bit whatever business you are in thou shalt be the head whatever area you are in thou shalt be the head whatever work you are in thou shalt be the head I said wherever you are thou shalt be the head the declaration of blessing is thou shalt be the head and not the tail above only and not beneath nobody going to walk on you Nobody going to sit on you. In the mighty name of Jesus, your time has come. For time and chance happens to us all. Your time to be lifted up. Your time to be promoted, to be elevated has, 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 has. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this helping anybody? Me say if this a help anybody. Wave your hand and shout if you believe God attack inside here. In the second half of Deuteronomy 28, he said, if you don't listen, the opposite is going to happen to you. If you don't follow what God wants you to follow, the opposite going to happen to you. In, Gen in Deuteronomy 28 verse 44. It says, you shall lend. He shall lend to thee. He shall lend to thee. This is not you, you know. This is your enemy. The blessing is that you become the bank. 
I preached that in January or, or February for debt burning. Become the bank. Think like the bank. You give the bank your money and the bank use your money and invest it and make money. And give you foolishness. Your thinking is changing. The bank lends your money, charge high interest, and give you something when it makes no sense. But because you are not a risk taker, you make them take the risk with your money. You think your money is safe? They can tell you that everything gone and they are protected. You say, no, no go so apostle. No, no go so. No, no go so. All right. <laughs> For some banks, your money insured. But a certain aspect, not everything. Ah, says the banker, right? You know what you're talking about. So you can't stay there, just put it there and make people take risk with your own. You ask God for wisdom to take your own risk. You become the lending institution. He says, a part of the curse is that they will lend to you. Your enemy will lend to you. Fear will lend to you. And so you say, I owe, I owe, I owe. So off to work I go. <laughs> You're working hard to pay who? The system. I don't need for pay me for all the messages when I go right now. You understand what I say? The system trap the people. So he says, a part of the curse is that you start, you are the borrower. May I prophesy over you? You are going to become the lender. Amen. One of my little daughters just get regulated with BOJ. She in her 20s. To do what? Lend money. She said, I am, they can just listen and clap in a church while them are clap me and do what you say. I am establishing my business. I am opening my lending agency. I am registering it. It is official. They clap them, go down. You know why? Because we're not moving. We're just coming and listening, but we're not acting. Money is evil, some of you say. It is the love. Money without mission is evil. Your money must have a mission. There's so much that I have to do right now. There's so much money that I need based on the bigness of the vision. And you're telling me we don't need no more money. People who say that no have no ambition and no have no vision. I don't have no revelation. When I look at the vastness of what he wants me to build. That's why the devil wants to keep you trapped. Because you're a kingdom financier. He shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. Why? You don't have nothing. He shall be the head. And you shall be the tail. That's a part of the curse. The curse is reversed. There's an evil that I see in the earth. I see 
beggars riding, slaves riding, and princes walking. Yeah. Who took the prince's horse? Yeah. Who flipped the script? There is a reversal that's about to take place. Somebody better help me here. You are a prince. You are a warrior. You are royalty. And you're coming out of that mentality that have you at the bottom scratching. Oh, I'm stopping on my youth, but pray for me. Sit down a little bit. Ah! Sit down a little bit. Sit down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lift up that hand. Worship God. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There was a certain rich man sitting at his table dressed well because he was functioning as the head. He ate well, he dressed well, his life was well. And then there was a beggar. We preach this all the time, don't it? Sitting at the rich man's gate. This poor Christian Christian. He might go heaven, you know. But while him depart on earth, a crumbs him desire. Desiring the crumbs. Because he had the mentality of the tail. His desire wasn't for the table. His desire wasn't for an entire loaf. He desired the crumbs. There is somebody here, you are saved, but all you desire is crumbs. You're going to heaven on crumbs, but I break the crumbs mentality. I declare over your life, no more crumbs. Whatever you desire, your mentality is always the scraps. It's always the what left. Because you don't believe you are in a position to ever be able to lift up yourself from that place and become the head. Lay your hand on your head and say, I command the anointing of headship. trying to stop you know that I'm trying to finish I'm trying to finish he's going to heaven but while he's in this life he desires crumbs that mentality is blown from you Nothing is wrong with starting small. But it's your start. Nothing is wrong with beginning humble. But it's your beginning. Now live there. Because when you stay there, you can't help nobody much at all. You are always in need of help like you're blind. You're not tired for beg. Let me offend you. Maybe that will change you. You are not called to be a beggar. You are called to be a giver. Amen. Your life is changing. I said to be born in poverty is not your fault. But to die poor is an error. 
are you hearing me? You must make up your mind. I take responsibility for my life. Say hallelujah. As I see that, I'm looking at that young man in the chair. I just, I was watching a man. He can't move nothing. Not even an, he can't move nothing. And he can't move him out and eat food. You know him do? He's using teeth and old pen and write. And get him law degree. Once you have a victim mentality and you think that the only way to advance is for people sorry for you, you're stuck. I said it is an error to be pitied by men when you are envied by angels. I don't need your pity. I don't know who's sitting next to you, you know, but some of you, you, you're always, listen, listen, sympathy party me not go. And sympathy party me not eat. Once you feel like the only way for shift is for people sorry for you and give you some handout. And I'm not saying somebody can bless you. But nobody can dash that down for me to take that up. You must have something about you. Let me, let me, let me close. Let me try to close that something. What time now? Head speaks of top. Write it down. Head speaks of top. Head speaks of summit. Summit, summit, like the summit, like, yes, yeah, summit. Summit, it means top too. Head speaks of the upper part. Head speaks of chief. Head speaks of front your product line must be front that's the mindset you must have that's head tail is where poo come tail tail is where the stump tail at the bottom tail at the rectum that's not your portion. Amen. God says, find the scripture for me. I will raise up the poor out of the poo hill, out of the dung hill, and I will set him among princes. It no matter where you start, I know that's how you got done. It's right, find the scripture for me and give me. It's right throughout the Bible. I will raise up the poor out of the dunghill and set him among princes. Your time to be raised up has come for time and chance happens to us all. First, Huh? First Samuel 2, verse 8. Raise up the poor out of the dust. Find it. One of them said, Dunghill. And lifted up the beggar. Oh, yeah. From the dunghill. That means, you know, dunghill, stump, bottom. You understand me? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's where some of you were. But God said, when I'm done with you. Hallelujah. 
You're going to sit down among princes. I will set him among princes to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. Break that limitation from your mind. Your mind not right. He's telling you the earth belongs to me. And he had set the world upon them. God is large and in charge and he's my daddy. He's my daddy. So why am I going to stay here? You will rise. I said you will rise. I said you will rise. Somebody say, Lord, lift me up. Say, Lord, lift me up. Shout, Lord. All right. I'm on motion. The church was not designed to be the tail. Say amen. amen. The church was designed to be the tail? No. Oh. The church was designed to be the head. The head is where the creativity takes place. We can't always wait for other people to create. If my daddy is a creator, it means I am a creator. I carry the DNA of my daddy. Oh, you're not talking to me. You're not talking to me. You're not talking to me. The power to better your best lies within you. Why? You are the head. You're a genius. <laughs> You are a genius. Some of you wouldn't even open your mouth and talk it over your own life. You haven't just made me talk over your life. Speak over your life and shout, I am a genius. The head is where decisions are made. The head is where you come up with the plan and the idea. That's you. That's you. Me say that's you. Yes. You're not normal. Yes. You are the CEO. Yes. You are the chief executive officer. Can I, can I, can I, can I work this something? I said your thinking is changing. You're going to think like the manager. You're going to think like the owner. Some of you are stuck because you think like the tear. But as of today, your thinking is being lifted to a whole new realm, to a whole new dimension. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. See the business that we have? To go our next level. Yeah. You know why? You are a genius. You are the head. You are the head. You are the head. I can't hear you. I am. I am. I am. Time for my going, girls. What a day. Eh? Yeah, man. That's why some of, you, some of you, even though you have the clothes, you save it for special, special occasion. And when you're ready for it, you're rotten. All the shoes, when you, put, when you do put it on, it, 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 it broke off or it starts strip. 
because because you know see yourself as as of today you're going to wear it You say, what kind of carnal preaching that? He need to talk about, about. <laughs> Are you one? Yes. You have some people that married you know, and they have lingerie. Laundry, laundry, that's it, name? Laundry, laundry. And, and they wouldn't wear it, no? They wear it once a year. Wear it, a new one will come. Some of you, you, the reason you don't wear it is because there's a shortage mindset. It's never enough. Me don't want to wear it and something special come. And me don't have none for wear. And you take so long for wear it that when you do wear it, it can't fit you. Wear it. Wear it. Wear it. When you try to put it on, you realize that it's a bust out now. You put on little weight. Or you lose little weight. And then you know feel good. And when you look at how much you pay for, listen to me now, man. This you see this week here? This is March, and you must march in March. Oy. March can't do now, you know March. Oh, you don't sit down, so March in a March. Based on how you see yourself. Dress based on how you want to be addressed. Dress based on who you believe you are. If you believe you're not nobody, then dress for them. But if you believe you are royalty, begin to carry yourself like royalty. And I'm not telling you to live above your means, above where you are. That's not what I'm teaching. But some of you can do better, but your mind not right. Amen? Amen. We're not finishing about. We're going to stop. I don't preach this for now. You know. I sit down in this until I see. So we don't need for rush it. I think we give you enough for a day. And I traveled, believe me, I, 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 I went to the airport Friday, I saw. It all mixed up. I went to the airport Friday and I got here Saturday. And then I got country last night, got preached to the youths. And then reached back home after 12 or whatever. And then, you know. So, you know, we'll take it easy. We need to go spend some time with my children. And just Sure. Yes. Let's all stand. What did you get from today? Don't look in your notes. Because your notes are not in your spirit. You see, when I ask you and you answer me, where you answer me and give me is what entered you. The notes may enter you if you meditate on it. All right? Yes. 
Excellence attracts elevation. She said, me now, me now. That's it. Make what is common, uncommon. So, so it's like you're putting uncommon in an environment that is common. That stood out to me. Hey, that's it's in the all. You know, because what that means, you know, is that everybody can become more excellent today. Yes. That was one for me that too. Quick, quick, quick. The how, as you said that, what came to me is that the, the what you're doing may never change for right now. But the how, you have the authority and you can determine how you show up and how you present yourself and do that work. Another one was, I do not, I do not desire man's pity when I'm envied by angels. Excellence is my priority. <laughs> Excellence, Excellence is my priority. Priority. Priority, right? Heal her voice, Lord. Heal her voice. Excellence is my priority. I saw another hand. Clap your hands. Yes, sir. We have a gentleman right here. And then we have a lady, Cla Clauden, over there. Quickly, quickly. We need more than one person, sir. More than one. Several persons should be doing. Yes, um, yeah. always better your best. So you can look at yourself and see what you can improve within yourself to better your best. Yeah. And, and you, know, you, know, you know what came back to me as you mentioned that? That it, I'm not running a race against you. Right. Um, it's really about just me constantly improving constantly improving. Clap your hands for the Lord. I am the head and not the tail. I am the head. And not the tail. And not the, the tail. The tail is the rectum where the poop is from. <laughs> so I am above and not beneath. Yes. One more apostle. One more. Yes. We need two more meals, you know. What are you with? Somebody said, man, there. Man, there. <laughs> yeah. So it takes years to build character, but it can take a moment to destroy it. Aye, that was big. 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 Yeah, we have all eat more. Yeah, come, come. Come, guys, move fast. Keep your hand up if you want to say something. I'll take a few more. Use the resources you have to be excellent where you are. Who said that? Okay, I have to find you. So, so oh, Claudine, you use the resources you have to be excellent where you are. You can't use it enough, but you can. You have something. And when you have a mindset, when, when your mindset is not one of excellence, you always think you don't have nothing. You always think you don't have the power to change. What I have is too small for me to create any change. That's not true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blessings. Blessings, sir. My, my greatest takeaway is that I must have an attitude of excellence to be considered for employment. Because even though my skill may be trained, if my attitude is not right, I will not be considered. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so it's character above. Competence. So we still go and push for competence, but character comes first. Next, faster. So that, uh, yeah, who is it? Yes. Excellence creates self respect. I yeah. demand self respect. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. When, the, when you grow in excellence, you start respect yourself more. You don't start carry yourself differently. Yes, daughter. We have the ability to create because our Father is the Creator. Yeah. of my son he said I should say most of our senses are on our head most of the senses are on the head yes the head carries the sensitivity the desert oh yeah, that's powerful that's come on come on we take three more what? it doesn't matter where you are even if it's in prison be excellent Boom. You have to start right where you are. You can't start where you are not. 
Yes. My takeaway is um, chance and time happen to all men. Yes. And don't just come to church and clap, but act. Yes. I love it. One last one. I'm not competing with you, I'm competing with me. That's it. You're constantly looking at you. You had your hand up first. You talk it? Oh, wow. The first. You, somebody said what you were going to say? Yeah. All right, cool. You still want to add more? All right. So my, one of my main takeaways is that God is not a liar. He's not a man that he would ever lie. And he said in Deuteronomy 28 that I am the head and not the tail. I must have desires that align with that headship. I must aim for the summit. I must be the best that I can ever be and better my best with what I have now. Sorry, I never hear what you said. Um, is there a fault? Say the last part. I must better my best with what I have now because it honors God, it honors what he said in his word, and he's not a man that he would ever lie. You know, I remember the first part of what you said. The first part is that if he says I'm the head, I'm not a man that him should lie. Me the head. So, we just need to believe that and let that simmer. Clap your hands and praise God. So, Lady Hortens is here, and she is a HOT, House of Transformation leader, and she's here with seven of, seven? Seven of her... Hotties. Hotties. <laughs> I'm going to invite the seven of them to come. You know, make a pray for all of you. Come on, make some noise for them, man. Huh? Five meals. Two feet. <laughs> you know, you know I'll, come. I'll put you up on the spot. Okay, okay. It's good, though, man. This good man. This good man. I love it. Hey, baby. <laughs> wow. Thank you guys for coming today. But we haven't put it up on the spot. Just lick a teen a bit. The message. The message. Which part I, you know, just when you listen to the message, which part I resonate with you? Just how you want to be addressed. Yeah. yeah. See it. <laughs> yes. You, for you. No, you're not ready yet. Go and think about it. Yes. <laughs> to always be the head. Yeah. As a husband, father, yeah. business owner, yeah. always be the head. Clap your hands. Yeah. Yeah, man. The same thing you just said to. How about you? God is good. <laughs> God is good. Yes, sir. Always be a leader, not a father. Yeah. Be a leader. Excellency. Excellence. Yeah. Every time. Clap your hands for them. Let's pray for them. Some of you just come stand with them. Uh, yeah, just turn this way, guys. We're just going to pray for you. Let's come across here. Let's pray. Pray some strength upon you. And thank you for coming today. Come, come across them. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this group. Come on, guys, help me. We need more workers, need more workers. Just stand and, and just pray with them. Matter of fact, if our prophetic students, you know, declare the word of God over them. Church, just stretch your hand and, and pray for them. Stretch your hand and pray for them. We pray over them right now. That the power of the enemy would be broken from their lives. And that your power concerning them would be established in the mighty name of Jesus. And we cover them under the precious blood of Jesus. And we declare victory in their family life. We declare success in their family life. Stability in family in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against confusion and we declare clarity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Lord God, we declare grace. Lord God, we declare favor. If they are in business, cause their business. If it's in line with what you want for them, let it be fulfilled. Let it be done in excellence and let favor come and let open doors be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare that no weapon formed against them will prosper. And every tongue that rises against them in judgment is hereby condemned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare, we decree, we declare and we decree, we declare and we decree that you are God's man of faith and power. And I declare over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that God is lifting you to a higher place in life a higher place in him and I declare the fundamental purpose for which you were created will be fulfilled in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ I declare that everyone in your life that will operate as a decoy and a detour to what God has called you for will be removed from your life in the name of Jesus Christ and those that will elevate, that will provoke you to become better, will be brought in your life. I declare that this service shifts the trajectory of the rest of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover you and I declare victory in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Amen. God bless you. You're doing a great job, lady. Or tens. God bless you. So you can return to your seat, guys. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Thank you for coming. Put your hands together for them. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You're under the hearing of my voice. You're not a Christian. It's your time to surrender to Jesus. Excellence really begins. There's no way you can have a revelation of God and not become a person of excellence. Anyone who is not committed to excellence is religious. They don't have relationship. They are merely religious. Religion is what they have. Tradition is what they have. Because when you connect with God, we all with unveiled face, Beholding as in a mirror the glory, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory by the Spirit of God. Say amen. amen. So God is calling you to come to Him. Bow your heads, close your eyes everyone. If you're a backslider, God is calling you. If you have never yet surrendered to Jesus, God is calling you. If you are not a member here, but you feel the connection, with you, you, you listen to the message and you realize, this is something that if I constantly listen to, my life can be elevated. I want and I crave this kind of environment. For some of us weekly, we allow people to get in our consciousness with their foolishness. And we don't open up our minds to God so that we can be changed. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Spirit of God, deal with every heart, deal with every mind. Do what only you can do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you're here and you're not saved, I'm going to count to three. And when I count to three, 
You want me to pray for you so that you can be saved? You're going to lift that hand. God is dealing with you. If you're a backslider, you want to pray for me? You want me to pray for you so that you can recommit? When I count to three, lift that hand. You are not a member of this church, but you know God is calling you to be a member of this church. When I count to three, you lift that hand. Church, you pray for them. One. Two. Don't delay, do it now. Three, lift that hand. Say, pray for me, I need Jesus. Keep it up, keep it up high. Keep it up high, keep it up high. Say, pray for me, I want to recommit. Say, pray for me, I'm committing. Say, pray for me, I want to be a member. Lift that hand high. Lift it up high. I see that hand. I acknowledge that other hand. I see that other hand. I see that one. I see that other one. I see that one. I see that one. I see that one. I see hands all over. I see that one cross there. That one over there. Keep it lifted. Keep it lifted. Keep it lifted. Keep it lifted. Spirit of God begin to deal with those who who are struggling to lift. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep, yeah. Stand up. Stand up. If you lifted your hand, stand up. Come on, church, celebrate them. Stand up. He said, if you're ashamed to own me before men, I will also be ashamed to own you before my father. Stand up. You want to serve God? Stand up. You want to be a member of this church? Stand up. You, you, you want to, you want to, you want not only to, to, to serve God, but you want God to use you in a powerful way. Stand up. You, you, you're a backslider and you're returning. Stand up. Your life is changing. God is doing a work. God is calling you out of obscurity into prominence. God is shifting your life. There is something mega that's happening. I'm going to ask you to meet me at this altar. Just walk from your seat and meet me right here. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. They are coming. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. coming. Come on, put your hands together for them. one more that should be here I come against the lies of the enemy every blockage and everything holding you back from being surrendered to God and I break it right now come on church pray clap your hands and pray I break it right now the mighty name of Jesus there's one more person that should be here come maybe you are a backslider time to return maybe you have never yet surrendered time to come maybe you want to be a member walk to this altar I know someone else is here come come loose come 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 that's right church pray come come sing that song worship team together as he comes clap your hands
pray a simple prayer, right? We're going to pray it with conviction and faith. We're going to mean it. We're going to open our mouths and declare it. Because the Bible says if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart, you're going to be saved. So what I'm leading you into, yes, I am the one leading you in the prayer, but it means that it can be your prayer. You can own it. How is that possible? By believing what you're saying and putting your all in it. So I want you to close your eyes. Not because there's anything mystical about it, but it helps you to focus. Close your eyes. Those of you online praying this with us, close your eyes. Everybody loudly say, Lord, I need you. Forgive me of every sin. Wash me in your blood. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I give myself to you. Help me to become a person of excellence. In the name of Jesus, I yield myself, my mind, my body, my emotions, my will, my spirit. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Church, can we put our hands together for them? There's a wonderful young lady right there. And I'm going to ask you to follow her. We're going to talk to you a little bit more at the back. We're going to pray with you and explain some stuff to you. Amen? She's right there. Just go ahead and follow her. Just go ahead and follow her. Just go ahead and follow her. Go ahead. Follow her. Follow her. Christianity begins with following. Serving God begins with following. With following. With following. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, church. What kind of praise that you're giving to God? challenge is over the Lord is helping you your challenge is over the Lord is helping you your challenge is over because the Lord is helping you say amen, amen. your challenge is over because the Lord is helping you he opens a door that no man can shut he makes the crooked path straight he makes the valleys raised up and the mountains come down in jesus mighty name everybody say amen i unlock that vehicle right now in jesus mighty and glorious name and i call it sealed say amen oh in the mighty name of jesus it's done clap your hands and praise god I release five properties within three months, I think. Three months. Three months. Three months. Write the vision and put it on your vision board. Get a photograph to represent it. This weekend, by the way, I forgot, we're having a planning workshop. Right here, right here, right here, huh? 9 a.m. to 12 or so. Yeah, <laughs> roughly. So we want to plan the next quarter. 
go online and register for that. It's a good thing to do. It's a good thing. Every time I give and I go in the session just to give, it challenges my own planning and allows me to reorganize and to shift things. So I, I, I am helped as I help. It's just a good atmosphere to be in. Most people don't plan. They just go through life and wing it. Structure it. Be focused about it and watch what will happen. Say amen. amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Uh, if you came late, you didn't get an opportunity to give. I want for you to give now. Let's give to the Lord. May I have some envelopes, please? You didn't get an opportunity to give. The ushers are here. Let's give to the Lord. I, I challenge persons in the second service, I believe, because I, we as a church, we have a mission and we are doing branches and we're going to Canada in April to launch WAFIF Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a very expensive venture and we're looking for persons who will partner with us and help us to establish this. Amen? Yeah. Amen. So, so I want for you to take one of these and bring it back within two weeks. Two weeks, yes. Within two weeks, you're going to partner with us and help us. You're going to just put WAFIF Canada on it. WAFIF Canada. Now, there are two figures that the Lord gave me, 500 U.S. and 1,000 U.S. That's a stretch for many persons. But for some persons, they can do it. And for some, it's a stretch. But guess what? They want to sacrifice. And they want to do it. If you are one of those persons, I want for you to come and take one of these. And to say, yes. I'm going to help with the establishment of WAFIF Canada. If you're one of those persons, just come. Take one as you stand with us. I declare over your life that as you help to establish kingdom work, I prophesy. I declare that God helps to establish the works of your hands. I declare that as you partner with the house, I declare angels partner with you. I speak over your life in Jesus' name that there's a shift coming in your immediate future. And as we go in April, I declare that you will feel effects in your life in April. In the mighty name of Jesus. As April really commences spring, I declare as you partner with us, your life will spring. Ashima, no more God bless you, daughter. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. I speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus that the atmosphere for growth, the atmosphere, yes, yes, for things to be planted, the atmosphere atmosphere yes 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 okay Ay, she broke my flow me I tell you <laughs> the atmosphere in Jesus name for newness that's what spring represents newness is released upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're here and you say, Apostle, honestly, I believe in the vision, I believe in what you're doing, but me not dead or so. Me not dead or so, not all, not all. And you are able to do 200 US and you want to partner with us. Just come. Just come. Take, take one. Take one. Take one. I declare spring is here lord you told me it's a new season that's what you said i declare newness lord give them testimony i just met a man he sold 100 us 
His business was totally destroyed because he was sick. And he got a word. God is going to establish you. Within two years, he had seven branches of his company. But then, he was working so hard, 18 hours a day. He said, God, this can't be you. He said, show me how to fix this. And God gave him an idea. God gave him an idea. He's one of the first person in the world. Thank you. Bless you, man. Bless you. He's one of the first person in the world. I'm not going to say what it is because I'm going to interview him. I'm going to see if I can get him. If I can't get him in the building for Saturday, I'm going to try and get him at least online to share. God bless you. Thank you so much. To share his story. Met another man who used to live on that bridge in Fort Lauderdale, homeless, who is now a business owner. God bless you. God bless you. It's not where you start. God bless you. Oh, oh, yes. God bless you. God bless you. And so, I declare God is changing your life. Let me tell you, God did something to me last week. My, my always I look for an opportunity to shift, you know. My mindset shift when we hear the testimonies. When we say shift, me mean me level up, you know, and we are when I go see something. <laughs> honestly, honestly, honestly. So make sure you come as I climb. Because something bigger is in you. Amen. Something greater is in you. But I just feel like for some of you, something might block you. And most of, for the most part, is the mindset. And that's why I'm sitting in this kind of message. Because something needs to shift here. And as it shifts, everything around you is going to start shifting. Clap your hands and praise God. Father, as your people give, bless their gifts and bless them also. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the church say. Amen. Everybody standing. Let me release you. There are ten persons who need a miracle. God bless you daughter. Oh. Alright. I hear you Lord. All right, there are ten. Oh, you, <laughs> no, 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 no. No prophecy. No. There, there are ten persons who. For you it's between ten thousand dollars. And Jamaican dollars. And one hundred and 15,000. It's, it's like 100 US or 10,000. It's between that. That's where you are. You, you, you can do that. 10 of you. Come. I need some more of the envelopes. But you took one already. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. Do, do, do. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's fine. Just a little touch of one. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. Oh, let's stay right here. Stay right here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lady Hortense. God bless you. Good to see you. God bless you, daughter. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. All right, so I'm going to release you, and there are about 10 persons. Some of you can do this now. If you can, let's go to the back, swipe your card or whatever, and come back. Those of you online who want to do it, I'm hoping that they would have put the information there. But I bless you, and I declare this new grace that I feel is yours you are walking in it <sighs> you're stepping into something fresh something new in jesus name amen
Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. He makes his face to shine upon you. He lifts up the light of his glorious countenance on you. The Lord be gracious unto you, giving you peace both now and forever. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. There are about 10 persons, you're not well or something like that, just come right here. Oh, what were you going to pray? You come to pray for people? What? What? Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. If you're online, we thank you for joining us today. We love you. God bless you and grace is your portion. Guys, remember we have debriefing, so don't run off now. Don't run off now. We go right around there. We're coming. Ah, uh, 10 persons. Just come stand right here. Prophetic students, come. Son, come help me pray. Ten persons, I think, I don't know if it's your health or whatever it is, just come. Ministers, prophetic students, come. Hallelujah. God bless you. Just bow your heads as you come. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going with cloth? Go, go.